So here's Sahih Bukhari, you remember, the most trustworthy source for Sunni Muslims. Muhammad says, I have been ordered to fight the people till they say, La ilaha illallah. And whoever says, La ilaha illallah, Allah will save his property and life from me. So that was the first pillar of Islam. That was what makes you a Muslim when you recite that. Muhammad is saying, I have been ordered to fight people till they proclaim they're Muslim. And only then will Allah save their life and their property from me. It's found in Sahih Bukhari. So as you can see, it's permeating the most trustworthy of Muslim sources. Is it hard to understand why? The Quran also has similar sentiments. Chapter 3, verse 28 of the Quran. Let not the believers take disbelievers for their friends in preference to believers. Whoso does that has no connection with Allah unless it be, all right, this is the important part, unless it be that you but guard yourselves against them taking as it were security. So this is saying, don't become friends with non-Muslims unless you want to kind of protect yourself from them. 